This is the reason why most Muslims are leaving Islam in 2024. Something that is so severe, so serious, that almost every single day I deal with it. Every single day. Yep. And that is Muslim youth leaving Islam. Yep. What percentage do you think that would be? Is it 2% of our youth? Is it 3 Give me a number. I want to share with you. Give me a number. 10, 5%. No, I want more, more than 5. 15, more. 20, more. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Wallahi, some, some, uh, some people have been calling me and giving me some uh, 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 emails. Brother, I have doubts. What doubts, man? What embarrassment is that? Why you have doubts? Why? Get the hell out of here! Get the hell out of here! And these Muslim weak Muslims in the, in the West sending me emails and just I'm losing my face and I'm a half I'm really like, get the hell out! You are never a strong believer in the first place, you weakling. You're a weakling. It is rare that you would find back home a young man or a young woman addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. That is unthinkable. That is the unthinkable. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. The more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. And I'm talking within the hundreds. However, at the same time, they have also declared to me that they are Ifad, they are prophets of the Quran. They are leading prayers to the masjid, and they are still leading that life, while simultaneously declaring their apostasy. Now, of course, they're not open about it. Why aren't they talking to their parents? Why aren't they talking to the imams, their sheikh, the scholars? And the same answer, I get the same answer for every single one of them. They're scared to tell their parents. They're scared to tell the imam. They're scared to tell the sheikh. They're scared to tell their scholars. They're scared to be shamed. And they feel as though even when they give clues, the first reaction is either anger or isolation. You know what's going to happen? We're going to be eaten out from outside. We're talking about, you know what I'm trying to say, how to, uh, it's, it's not a leather sock, yes, a leather sock. Who cares if it's a leather sock or not, man? Your, your child is going to become an apostate. And you're talking about if it's a leather sock. How dare you, man? It's a leather sock, you know. Shut up! No, shut up! What the hell, man? In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American-born Muslims. Wallahi, the priority is our preservation. Over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Um, that said in America, 24%, 23, 24% of Muslims are apostate. As much as we say Islam is the fastest growing religion in the globe, I want to tell you something that I've studied. Mm -hmm. I've studied. Mm -hmm. yes. It's the religion with the large number of defectors, the largest number of defectors. Mm. Did you know that? No. I can tell you. That doesn't mean the number of defectors is more than the number of those yeah. who enter, but from all others, those who are leaving Islam. And you don't even know, people are living in your home and it's second, third generation in the Western world. They're not even Muslim. They're not even Muslim. They don't care about Islam, but their name is Muslim and you think they're Muslim because they're in the situation. I did a little survey of Salatul Eid. 
And I found that 50% of the guys don't even go to eat. Allah. Mm. They don't even go to eat. Subhanallah. It's sad. And Subhanallah. I'd like you to actually do it here in your part of the world. See what happens. That's something we can arrange, inshallah. If, you, if yeah. you have the masajid, check the capacity of the masajid and look at the number of Muslims you have. You're going to find mm. even for Jum'ah, you only have a third of the Muslims attending. Mm. I'm talking the males who are supposed to attend. Mm -hmm. So it's very scary. सवाल करना चाहते क्या हम मुल्क में जलाव गिराव करें आपके मुल्क में तो हाल ये हो गया है कि दाढ़िया किस्म के लोग आपके यहाँ लेक्चर्स दे रहे हैं और ये किसी एक घर की कहानी नहीं है अब घर घर की कहानी बन चुकी है एक हाल में दिन को हीन करते हुए पकड़ा गया आज उन्होंने मुझे जो रिपोर्ट दिखाई है उस रिपोर्ट को देखकर मेरे लोग पे खड़े हो गए ये सब इस मुल्क में हो रहा है वाले दिन अपना हक अदा करो बच्चों की निगरानी करो और बच्चों की निगरानी हमने इस तरह से करनी है उस दिन मुफ्ती अबू मोहम्मद साहब ने एक एप्लीकेशन की तरफ इशारा किया था कि घर के डिवाइस से उसको मुंसलिक करो माँ बाप निगरानी करे इस वक्त आपके मुल्क को तबाह करने की साजिश की जा रही है मैं सिर्फ इशारा तभी अर्ज कर रहा हूँ फैसल कुरैशी साहब प्राइवेट पास पर लाला मोहम्मद और रसूल सैदा तस्वीर तायरा आबेदा जायदा जकिया मुजक्या हजरत सैदा फातिमा का नाम लिखा हुआ है इससे पहले हम मार क्यों नहीं गए ये तीन देखने से पहले हमें मौत क्यों नहीं आ गई इस वक्त ये कहा जा रहा है कि हम सात अप्रैल को पाकिस्तान में तहफ नामू से रिसालत का दिन मनाने जा रहे वो तुम फैसल को इसी साहब उलमा आजाई फराम करे वालदेन रब तहफा का वास्ता और आज का वास्ता उठो और किरदार अदा करो और अपने बच्चों को अपने मुल्क को और इस्लाम को बचाओ ये मेरा पैगाम है ये जज्बाती होना नहीं है यहाँ से बोल चैनल से ये पैगाम जाना चाहिए कि हम में से कोई भी ये चीज बर्दाश्त नहीं कर सकता और हर एक इस बात में अपना किरदार अदा करे मैं चाहूंगा कि सब खड़े होकर ये जो है वो इस वक्त पैगाम दे ताकि कौम तक एक पैगाम पहुंचे नबी आलाम की इज्जत और नामोश जिस मुल्क में महफूज रही कुछ भी महफूज नहीं है किबला एक बात so as you guys can see muslims and the muslim youth are leaving islam in record numbers so for all of you guys that say these videos are pointless anyone who debates muslims you're just doing it in vain that is so far from the truth and that's the devil speaking right through you because my videos and many other youtubers that do make videos Rebunking, debunking Islam and exposing it for what it is have brought many souls to Jesus Christ. God has used us as vessels. God has also used dreams, prophetic dreams and visions. God has used uh, street evangelism, the street preaching, all these things to bring his seed all across the world. So many people don't want to accept the truth. Many people hate when you share the gospel. It's so funny how people will say, oh, you should spread it this way or you should spread it that way. But you're not sharing the gospel. It's so easy to say, you know what? Don't share the gospel through reaction videos or don't share the gospel through street preaching. No matter how I share the gospel, people are going to judge me. People are going to be like, oh, you should do it like this or you should do it like that. You're not God. You don't know what God imprinted in my heart to do. And God imprinted this in my heart to do, to share the gospel like this. And the reason why I bring that up is because I see so many people, you know, why do you do this? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do this? You have an unrighteous, judgmental way of thinking. That's not of God. That's not righteous judgment. That's unrighteous judgment. Um, but many Muslims are leaving Islam. All glory to God. All praise to God. You know, and the reason why I believe Islam is the fastest growing religion is unfortunately, you know, because whenever we look at Islam and the nature of it, unfortunately, they do murder people. They force convert them to Islam. But in reality, guys, many of the youth, especially in the Western world, are waking up to how evil and corrupt Islam is. And if you guys don't know, a lot of the youth is leaving atheism. They're leaving, they're leaving atheism. So I wonder which religion is growing right now in the West. Christianity. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of lukewarm Christians. There's also a lot of uh, witchcraft here in the Western part of the world. There's a lot of like ungodly things. But believe it or not, the numbers are showing that there's a lot of youth coming to Jesus Christ. 2024. It's a blessing by God.